It's Tuesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Water deputies rescued 16 people from Lake Dillon in just a few minutes this past Saturday when a microburst capsized canoes and pinned a pontoon on rocks. Three of the victims were hypothermic when rescuers arrived. Two had been floating in the water for 30 minutes. It was 43 degrees that day. One was taken to the hospital. The other 13, they were on the pontoon. Everyone was wearing a PFD. The sheriff's office says this saved lives that day. Memorial Day weekend was slightly busier than usual on I-70 through Summit. More than 154,000 cars traveled the tunnels Friday into Monday. That's not even 2% busier than the five-year average, just about 5% busier than 10 years. Looking back on all four weekends of May, this was almost exactly as busy as last year. 408,000 cars traveled the mountain corridor, a difference of just a few hundred cars from last year. That's not even 1,000 more cars than in April and the slowest month since November. The Teller County man accused of fleeing authorities and crashing in Blue River will soon be out of the hospital and appearing in court. Mark Tuckle is charged with felony domestic violence in Teller and other crimes on the road. He was injured in that crash. A Panama man is due in court today, appearing virtually from Panama. He's charged with menacing for pulling a knife on another man after a night at Cecilia's in Breck. Hundreds of Mountain Town HOAs are outlawing gas grills on decks and patios. They're in Keystone, Steamboat, and elsewhere. They tell CBS Denver that insurance companies won't cover them, saying gas grills are a fire hazard. Most HOAs, they've already outlawed charcoal grills. Local avalanche danger, it's the same as yesterday. Moderate in the Gore Range, the Vale area, and along the Divide at Loveland Pass, it's low across the rest of the state. Two close calls with wet slides yesterday, one just north of Loveland above Dry Gulch, and a large slide in the Gore Range. That one ran 1,100 vertical feet, piling up to 4 to 5 feet deep. No one was caught or injured in either slide. New search and rescue tech is making it easier to find lost people in remote locales. Colorado Sun compares it to a miniature mobile cell site. It's mounted to a helicopter, and it will ping your phone from above. A recent test run in La Plata Canyon near Durango was promising. Rescuers pinpointed lost hikers in about two minutes. Local fire danger is low today in Summit and the surrounding forest, still with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Rockies beat the Guardians yesterday, 8-6. Today, the Rockies are playing the Guardians again at 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Open now for summer is the 10-mile rec path from Frisco to Copper. The bike routes from there to Fremont and Vail Pass still remain closed. You can expect them to open this week or next. Race 2 of the Town Mountain Bike Series will be happening next Wednesday, June 5th. It's the Hungry Hippo at Tiger Dredge. Sign up online. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.